King Edward I, also known as Edward Longshanks, was one of the most significant and influential monarchs of medieval England. He was born on June 17, 1239, in Westminster, London, and he reigned from 1272 until his death in 1307. Edward was the eldest son of King Henry III. He was given a traditional education for a prince and was taught to be a skilled warrior, which he demonstrated in several battles throughout his reign. Edward was married to Eleanor of Castile, whom he met when he was traveling through Castile on his way home from the Crusades. They were married in 1254 and had 16 children together, although not all of them survived to adulthood. Eleanor was a devoted wife and queen, accompanying Edward on many of his military campaigns and earning the nickname, the Pearl of Castile. After Eleanor's death in 1290, Edward was devastated and ordered the construction of several memorial crosses in her honor, including the famous Eleanor Crosses. He also established a series of chapels along the route her body took from Lincolnshire to Westminster Abbey, where she was buried. Edward had a reputation for being a stern and disciplined ruler, but he was also known to be a loving and devoted father. He was particularly close to his son, Edward II, who succeeded him as king. The two had a close relationship, and Edward I reportedly doted on his son, giving him gifts and showing him affection. In addition to his wife and children, Edward I also had several mistresses throughout his life. One of his most notable mistresses was Piers Gaveston, who became a close companion of the young Prince Edward. When Edward I became king, he banished Gaveston from court, but he later returned and became a source of controversy and conflict during Edward II's reign. One of Edward's most significant achievements was his conquest of Wales. In 1277, he launched a campaign against the Welsh, led by Lyulin A.P. Grufford. Edward's army defeated Lyulin's forces and forced him to sign the Treaty of Aberconwy, which gave Edward control over much of Wales. Edward's military conquests were not limited to Wales. He also fought in the Ninth Crusade in the Holy Land, where he demonstrated his bravery and military skill. He returned to England in 1274 and was crowned king the following year. During his reign, Edward implemented several important legal reforms, including the Statute of Westminster which established the principle of parliamentary government in England. He also established the Court of Common Pleas, which was designed to provide ordinary people with access to justice. Edward was known for his strong personality and strict rule. He was also a patron of the arts, and his reign saw the construction of several important buildings, including the famous Eleanor Crosses, which were built in memory of his mother. Edward died on July 7, 1307, at Borough by Sands, Cumberland, England. He was buried in Westminster Abbey, where his tomb remains a popular tourist attraction to this day. Interestingly, Edward I was known for his height, which was unusual for the time. He was said to be over six feet tall, earning him the nickname Longshanks. Edward was also known for his love of hunting and his passion for architecture, which can be seen in the many impressive buildings he commissioned throughout his reign. The tomb of King Edward I, also known as Edward Longshanks, is a grand and historically significant monument located within Westminster Abbey in London, England. It stands as a tribute to the life and reign of one of England's most notable medieval monarchs. The tomb itself is an elaborate structure made of Purbeck marble. It is situated in the eastern part of the abbey, near the high altar. The tomb's design showcases a recumbent effigy of Edward I, portraying him in regal attire, with his hands clasped in prayer. The effigy captures his strong and commanding presence, reflecting his reputation as a powerful and formidable ruler. 
the tomb is adorned with intricate architectural details and decorative elements. The sides of the tomb are adorned with panels featuring intricate carvings, depicting scenes from Edward I's life, such as battles, crusades, and moments of political significance. These carvings provide a visual narrative of his accomplishments and emphasize his military prowess and leadership. Above the tomb, there is a beautiful and ornate canopy supported by pillars. The canopy features delicate tracery work, intricately carved arches, and a decorative pinnacle at its top. The design elements draw inspiration from Gothic architectural styles, reflecting the period in which the tomb was constructed. The tomb also includes inscriptions and Latin epitaphs that commemorate Edward I's life and achievements. These inscriptions often extol his virtues as a ruler and highlight his various titles and accomplishments. Inside the tomb, there is a lead coffin containing the remains of Edward I. The coffin itself is a replacement from the original wooden one that had decayed when the tomb was opened in 1774. The bones of the king were carefully reassembled and placed inside the new lead coffin before being returned to the tomb. Over the centuries, the tomb has undergone restoration and conservation efforts to preserve its historical and cultural significance. It remains a focal point within Westminster Abbey, attracting visitors from around the world who come to pay homage to the renowned medieval king. The tomb of Edward I serves as a lasting testament to his impact on English history and his enduring legacy as a warrior king and reformer. Its intricate design, Detailed carvings, and historical significance make it a remarkable and cherished monument within one of England's most iconic landmarks.